People just walk around with these in their pockets just to upload and flick through social media and make phone calls and day-to-day -day life. They don't realize how powerful they actually are. A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video to YouTube all about video editing on the iPad Pro, and I was blown away as to just how capable and powerful it is. And I've got the iPad Pro from 2018, so it's a good few years old now, but it cruised through 4K footage without any trouble at all all it blew me away so my point behind that video was imagine what these new 2021 ipad pros with the m1 chip are going to be able to do they are just going to be insane the ipad pro is way above anything else in the tablet market end of it is insane what they can do i said this in the last video imagine if one day an iPad like device is our only device and we can take that around to anywhere with us, plug it into different monitors and just use an iPad to do everything, whether that's creative stuff, video editing, music production, or your day to day email, word processing stuff. Imagine if an iPad is the only thing we ever need. And I think we are getting pretty close to that situation. However, today, I want to go one step further. I want to try video editing on the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, just how capable are these? I think these are a lot more powerful than we give them credit for. I don't think a lot of people, again, realize just what they can do. And considering we all walk around with an iPhone in our pockets, we've all got cameras in our pockets, we've all got little editing devices in our pockets with these. So we're gonna look at just how capable it is as a video editor. Let's get into it. Now very quickly, just before we go any further, if you are new to the channel, my name is Scott Edwards. I make all sorts of tech, photography, video related videos, as well as vlogs. So if they are the sorts of things you are interested in, consider clicking that little subscribe button just down below there and coming and being a part of this community. It's growing very quickly at the moment, so it's hugely exciting. Hello to all of the new subscribers and watchers to the channel. It is massively appreciated. Anyway, let's get on with this video. Now I've had to change how I'm gonna do this slightly as I've had a little bit of trouble connecting my Magic Mouse 2 to my iPhone but I believe there is a little bit of a bug with that and yeah it's not connecting so I'm gonna have to just use it as a touchscreen device which is a little bit frustrating as it's so small but we will work with it. I have however connected my Magic Keyboard so I can use all of the keyboard shortcuts which hopefully should be very useful. So what I'm gonna do is record my screen on my iPhone so you can see everything that is going on. So we have Luma Fusion open here directly in front of me and you can see that it looks exactly the same as it does on the iPad it's just a lot smaller because you're on an iPhone so we're going to create a new project and we're just going to call this a test project and the frame rate is going to be 25 frames a second because I am in a PAL region I'm in the UK I film everything in 25 frames a second unless it's slow-mo and then I increase the frame rate and the aspect ratio let's just go 16 by 9 landscape and the color space will leave it on the first clip added so it will do it automatically itself and we're going to click add so we have our project open now what i'm going to go and do is exactly the same as i did on the ipad go in and find our clips i have two specific clips i'm going to use here i have one that is filmed on my sony a7c it is full 4k filmed in s log 2 so it's log footage i also have a drone clip from my dji mini 2 and that is also a 4k clip and drone footage is notoriously difficult to edit it can be quite stuttery so be interesting to see how that works but first i'm gonna just select this clip here which is my sony a7c clip we can scrub through it here and if we wanted we can click i to select the in point and if we drag that along there we can select o and then we can drop that into the timeline and then we can scrub through it here we can make it smaller and you can see so far there is absolutely no lag now what i'm going to do is click play and hopefully it will play straight away it does. If I was to import something like that, a full 4K filmed in S-Log2 into my MacBook Pro 16 inch, it wouldn't be able to play straight away. It would have to render it and this 
is just instant. It's the same as with the iPad. And the iPad Pro is two, three years old now. That's from 2018. This is the iPhone 12 Pro. The power in these is just insane. And I know this is only one video clip, but it's not had to render at all. And I can scrub through and it's just gonna play straight away. There is no waiting around. There is no dropped frames at all. I can't wait to be able to see what is gonna be possible on these new iPad Pros and the new MacBooks when they do eventually come out with even more power than the current M1 chips because they are mightily, mightily? That's not even a word. Massively impressive as well. So what we're gonna do is just find a little bit of where I finished talking. So you can see there the waves drop out. So and then we're going to click command B using the blade tool and we're going to go and find the bit where I start talking again and click command B and then we're going to delete that. Okay, so it's not a very clean cut because I've chosen the wrong parts of the clip but you see how easy it is and lag free it is to just go through and cut out different bits of footage. So let's say I've made a mistake and I want to undo all of that. It's only a two minute long clip so it's not long but it's just so easy. So now let's say we want to add a little bit of color grading to it because it is filmed in log. We need to add a bit of contrast and saturation back in to bring it to life a little bit. So we're gonna click on the little pencil tool there and come down into all of these. Now again, you can just see that this is absolutely instant. Now we can just put on an original thing here and then we can play around with the with the levels. So we bring the shadows down a little bit and the highlights as well. Now one thing I do miss that is on Final Cut, when you're using LumaFusion, you don't have any of the waveforms which are very, very useful when you are editing color. It's just instant, it really does baffle me as to how quick it is. This is on an iPhone and you can just mess around with it as much as you want and there's no waiting around at all. Now I've completely messed this up. It doesn't look very good at all. This is insane. It's log footage filmed on an iPhone. Now I've not graded that very well. I've literally just boosted everything. Let's do it even more. Let's just go all out. Let's add all the con... No, let's not, not add all the contrast. But loads of saturation. Let's add a different preset onto it. It's insane. This is ridiculous. Now if you want to, you can bring in your own LUTs. So I'm gonna go in here and I've got a couple from Peter McKinnon. So I'm just gonna say teal and orange. This will probably look terrible because I've not done it very well. Now this is not how it would look at all. It looks dreadful. I'm just literally trying to get an idea of how impressive it is because this would literally, my MacBook wouldn't be able to do anything right now if I'd done what I'd done to it on there. Like it's just, it baffles me. This is an iPhone. People just walk around with these in their pockets just to upload and flick through social media and make phone calls on day-to-day -day life. They don't realize how powerful they actually are. So now we've got our log footage and it's graded very badly. Full 4K footage. Let's add in some more 4K drone footage on top. Let's do that. And click play. There you go, it's just not dropping a frame at all. Now let's say we cut that there, take the end clip off, and we will cut as well there, take the middle clip out so we've got some We've got a little bit of B-roll over our talking clip and then you want to add in over the top some text. So we go in here, add overlay title. This is incredible. Change all of this, we'll change the size. This again would just, even though it's only a very simple title, my laptop would just start, the fans would be blowing, it'd be incredibly loud and this is it's just cold. You wouldn't believe this was editing 4K footage, it's ridiculous. There we go. Again, no dropped frames at all. We've got two layers of 4K footage, one of them is log, we've got two layers of text. Yes, it's only very simple text, but you get what I mean. Now we've got our video edited, what we want is 
music. I downloaded some from Epidemic Sounds before. Now, if you've not heard of Epidemic Sounds, it is a great place to go and download royalty-free music for all of your videos. So if you need that for your videos, there is a referral link down below so you can go and get a 30-day free trial. Let's add a link to our folder in here and to our downloads folder. Click on the downloads folder and I have some music here. Let's drag and drop this into our music layer. Click play. There you go. It's playing. You can scrub through, click play again. So basically you can use an iPhone as your full editing studio. This world has gone insane. It's incredible. I don't understand it. How is it possible? This is just, it's cold. There's no fans, it's silent. It lives in your pocket. It's got a camera on it, so if you shoot some footage on your phone, you can edit straight in Lumen, 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 Lumen Fusion. Mind blown. I, I was speechless after the iPad video. I didn't even realize it was possible to do on the iPhone. It's just ridiculous. Who needs MacBooks that cost £2,000 when you can do this on an iPhone. Let's say that is our finished video. It's obviously not, it looks dreadful, but we're gonna go and export it as a movie to the Files app. And we're gonna save it as a 4K footage, extreme video quality. It's a two minute video, it's just exporting rapidly. Look at the speed of that. It's ridiculous, it's an iPhone. Okay, so this is a 2 minute 14 video that we've just exported. It has done it in literally 40 seconds. So that is more than double real time. Bear in mind as well, my iPhone is screen recording, so it's doing a lot of things. It's using a lot of power. It's cold, it's silent. Incredible. Let's save this to the downloads folder. We will go to our downloads and test, there is our video. The colors look awful, genuinely awful. But we've just made this video on our iPhone with text, music, drone footage, which is usually quite difficult to edit with, and it's just flown through it. What is the future of video editing going to look like? I really don't think it's gonna look like this for much longer. I think devices like iPhones and iPads are just gonna take over and one day they're gonna be the only thing we'll ever need to do everything. Everything, I mean everything. No matter what it is, a device like this in the future, in a few years, might be the only thing you ever need. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. As you can see, I am blown away as to just how capable an iPhone is. Again, I really don't think people realize how powerful they actually are. That's it for this video. If you like what you see on the channel, click that thumbs up button just down there and come and be a part of the community by clicking subscribe and I shall see you all very soon in another video.